Hello, folks, and welcome back to Grand Strategy Saturdays, where the Temple Institute leads a nation to glory. Today, we are back with Stellaris Invicta. I am the man behind the curtain, Mr. Mark, and I'm joined by the voice of the Institute, Larissa. How's it going? It is so going. I am, like, chomping at the bit to take on the unbidden man. Yeah, so I am right there with you, and I think we should get into it, but we can never just get into it. So let's uh, go over some housekeeping stuff. First of all... Uh, I imagine we're going to be linking uh, that link to the document in chat sometime. This helps us uh, keep track of everything that's been going on in the game, so contribute to that if you can. It makes those episode recaps we do all the easier. And we did one today, in fact, right? Yeah, just today. And uh, I don't know, I, I liked it. Yeah, How did you guys like it? First one since the break started and now ended. So yeah, we're, we're back mm -hmm. to somewhat regular videos as all uh, it's all part of our all wait what, what i call it it's Shit. the all new entirely confusing schedule yeah the all new entirely confusing schedule thank you i, I can't believe i forgot that that was a good one okay yeah. so um what other stuff do we got in housekeeping that i should i should be mentioning or you should be mentioning um well we're gonna do a giveaway today since this very well could be the very last stellaris invicta greater terran union stream it's true um, so we're gonna, we're gonna make it a big event. We're gonna celebrate. So we're gonna be giving away a Greater Terran Union towel. Yeah, let me try to bring that up in the main viewer. Yeah, I, I want to see this. So it, it's the Greater Terran Union flag, but it's a towel yeah. that you can use, um, during your allotted five minute shower time. Or more if you have a higher tier. Or more if you're a higher tier. Look I, at that I met beauty. a guy the other day, he had a 10 minute shower. I was super jealous. Ooh, uh, how big is it? What's it's, what's the size? I don't remember. I have no idea. Uh, is it not on the page? It doesn't say. Oh, well, this is some okay. goddamn store. Oh wait, no, it's sixty-two yeah. inches by thirty inches. What's that in feet? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. It's got to be standard towel at... size, I'd imagine. Uh, probably close. But yeah, it's it's a good size. It's a good size. Yes, agreed. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be opening up the giveaway soon. Um, in order to enter, you have to type exclamation mark raffle, followed by the number of tickets that you would like to buy. This time, the rules have been slightly different from our previous giveaways. Each ticket is going to cost one credit, and you can get up to a maximum of five tickets. Only five tickets. But have an equal um, playing field this time. Yeah, so that our new people also have a bit more of an opportunity. Um, for those of you who don't know, you earn credits just by watching our stream and or placing bets in other streams. You might be able to double or triple the amount of credits that you have just by placing a, a well-thought-out uh, well bet. Um, yeah, a lot of the money makers are cleaning up in XCOM right now. Yeah. If you'd like to see how much credit you have, type exclamation mark credit. I will be opening the giveaway now. Alrighty, so yeah, giveaway now open, so if you've been placing your credits before this do it again because it didn't actually happen all right but yeah i guess that's yeah. uh that's everything so yeah recap video went live um if this is the first stream you're catching you should know that this stream is actually a few centuries ahead actually it's not that far ahead anymore it's only 50 years ahead no um, 50 years ahead 53 years ahead yeah so if you don't want to be spoiled for stuff that's happened since the recap video walk away from your computer but don't close the stream because we need those those sweet sweet views so yes uh, please let us make partner yeah, but on the recap side of things, so um, we've been moving against the Unbidden. We've taken out a bunch of their anchors. They are now only down to 22, although it's been fluctuating all over the place. They keep building more. We keep destroying them. So should we just start get going? I think we should just get going. All right, so we're going to move into the Rakat. We're heading right into it. Our grand war Ooh. fleet is moving to the Rakar Rakaron system, let's say. And then once we clear out this last pocket, we'll move on to the other last pocket. And then who knows what's after that? <laughs> who knows indeed. And, oh, there's a couple of people who subscribed that I should say thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we've got... Building out of... Uh, Dummy Ripper... Demi Ripper 00 subscribed with Twitch Prime. And Ajax025 subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you, guys. Thank you kindly. Okay, so the Unbidden are counterattacking 
in the former homeworld of the Florians, and they're moving against our allies, it looks like. But our allies can't hold them back, right? Yeah, they got... Basically, the Firaxians have a fleet power of 3,000. So. Ooh, that's not enough. On the plus side, though, we took out another anchor, so we can keep moving. Although the problem is, Garden was our main reinforcement point, because there's a gateway there, so now we can't reinforce these fleets anymore. Oh, right. I mean, we could, but they'd get annihilated on, on the way here. Yeah, so, like, they'd, they would get destroyed and or they would engage and then just kind of like hang out and yeah. not do anything and just be a new fleet and they which is what happened over here we had like you know a bunch of random ships for some reason oh okay we're shooting something yeah going uh -oh. after the anchor yeah okay the anchor another anchor another day another anchor fleet action yeah day. you kill one anchor you kill them all an anchor a day keeps the unbidden away away ah the game is really oh shit okay the Unbidden have, have launched their own fleet into the system, too, but I think we're going to kick the shit out of them. Uh, oh, yeah. They're going to get curb stomped. Although we really need to reinforce because, like, we got fleets here down to, like, 50k and 67k. Like, we've... Ooh, that we makes me uncomfortable. This up forever, yeah. And if the game would just stop freezing every 10 seconds, that would be nice, but... <laughs> what can you yeah, do? Hell, it's the end game. Yeah, next to our season, it'll be on a small map with two empires, and it'll be incredibly boring. <laughs> But it'll be stable. <laughs> it'll be stable. No bugs. No glitches. No lag. It'll be wonderful. Precisely. Okay, another anchor down. Woo! So now Look we're going on to Yalta. We are cleaning up the Yalta system. And actually, our allies are maybe finally helping. They're attacking another anchor. Ooh. So yes, everything is proceeding according to plan. Excellent. Oh, by the way, you uh, you disabled your cursor. I did! For recording! I'll re-enable yeah. it. Yeah! Yeah! See, I have your back, man. Thank you. As soon as I remember how to re-enable it. Construction complete. And the cursor is back! We did it, everybody. Yay! Scary five seconds, though, right? Yeah, I was, I was really worried that, like, everything was just gonna fall apart, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! They built another one. They did. They built oh, another like ah! four. What the shit? God damn these assholes! Okay, so now oh. they're back up to twenty-four. Shit. Ah, fuck! I gotta bring in more fleets, man. I'm tired of this shit. Yep. Um, and we need to we need to destroy those construction ships. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take them out of sticks, and I'm gonna come in from another side here because I'm tired of this. Risky. Yeah. Risky. Well, you know what they say about desperate times. Uh, that things could have been going better. Uh, no. I was, I was no, going to say what are they? desperate measures. I, I don't think that's a saying. <laughs> okay. I think you're making this up. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's desperate times heal all wounds. Is that it? Yeah. Occult Totem would like to know what the current demographics of the GTU are. Mostly alive, some dead. <laughs> uh, we are at 65% human. 6% Wasari. That's a good... Uh, and then we got Firaxians and Plenians and also We got Plenians here, too? I guess that makes sense. Skiro at 7%. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, I gotta get back to the, the war effort, though. As we take out another Unbidden Fleet and take back this Elgate. What? This is our Elgate. Yeah. And we're making, um, we're making minerals and energy again, so that's good. We were at a deficit there for a while. Yeah. Ooh, 700 energy credits right now? Yeah, how about that, eh? Nice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something Dos dangerous. Who? Wait, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know what I'm going to do. Never mind. I was going to, like, jump <laughs> and kill these construction Ooh. ships, but, uh... Oh, man, so one of these fleets that just might isn't be a moving. good idea. That might be a good idea, though. But I mean, there's another fleet right next to it, and yeah. it go very badly. Should I say fuck it? Oh, they're already engaged I in think... combat, so I can't actually jump them until it's over. But uh... oh, okay. Wait, no, I'll jump these ones. It does cut our firing power in half, though, right? But only for a bit, I think. Right? Is that how that works? Well, I don't remember how long. I think it's like a month? Question mark? Uh, 
That should be okay. 200 days. Oh. oh, shit. That's like a... That's very different from a month. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Editor has subscribed for eight months with all of the emojis. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Um, yeah, somebody asked earlier uh, if we could provide any teasers for Stellaria Vic Stellaris Invicta Season 2. I keep trying to make the joke that we don't know if it's even been renewed for a second season. And then you keep being we like, already... yeah, it's going to happen. And it ruins it. Yeah, but we're already renewed. We confirmed I know. that. But I like I like pretending that there's a network that's like, oh, my God, I hope Stellaris Invicta gets renewed. You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, but we are the network. That's true. Okay, well, for the purposes of the joke, we don't know if there'll be a season two. For the purposes of actual reality, yes, there'll be a season two. But teasers, I don't know. Do we got anything? Uh, well, we've got some ideas, and I don't, I don't know, like, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, brain fart. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm loving this so far, though. <laughs> um, what factions are gonna be on the, the voting list? I can give away some, how about that, not all. Yeah, yeah, uh... so there's, there's teasers. Wait, sorry, there's a battle happening. There's a couple of battles happening. Oh my god. Uh, but we're going to win this. I don't think it's much of a competition. But I need to reinforce all this shit because we're losing a ton. Um, what do we got? Okay, so the uh, the Holy Solar Empire will be back because I love them. Yeah. Rami does Chuck. Yeah, and like Brittany Aurelian or something. I don't know. we got to come up with a bunch of names. <laughs> um, yeah. So they'll be back. Uh, it's going to be all human factions again. I saw someone asking about alien factions, but no, all human, just because we're limited by art. Um, everyone, you know, makes pictures of humans, but not everyone does the exact same alien design, so it can get difficult. But uh, okay, so Holy Solar Empire, Soviet Union, maybe. I'm pretty sure they're going to be around. I don't know, 100% though. Uh, United Federation of Nations will be back. Those were like the three that didn't get picked last time, right? Yeah. Oh, we got another space battle. Um, and then the new ones I don't want to go into yet because I'm still working on them, or at least thinking about them. And is there is there any clues that you want to drop? No. Uh. <laughs> because I don't know. I, I don't want to. Um... Okay, I, I can I can say one thing. Like all the original factions from last time, they all originated on Earth. Um, and in the interest of making things more diverse and interesting. Maybe one of the factions this time around won't have come from Earth. Or will Ooh. be not... You know, I don't know. Yeah, interesting. Is it? Uh, I'm interested. Okay. Um, I also see a question in chat here for uh, who does the art in the Solaris videos anyway. Um, we credit our artists in the video itself and in the video description, but they're all artists who we found on ArtStation that have um, really, really interesting styles. So if you like them, you can actually go to their art station and find more of their work and potentially commission them to do a specific project that you might have in mind. Yeah. Check them out. They're good. I think a lot of people missed the, uh, the credits at the bottom of the screen there, but uh, they should all be yeah. accurate. Yep. They're all there. Um, and thanks the Angry Vegan for subscribing for three months, huh. saying workers of the worlds unite. Love it. Workers of all worlds. That's what I say all of the world all right i'm gonna take back garden with our heavily uh attritionated that's not a word fleets um <laughs> meanwhile these two are also taking a ton of damage in fact we might actually lose them Ooh. like if they move one more fleet Don't here like we're, we're kind of screwed but no it's, it's like that probably oh no they got two right there but they're not moving as far as i can tell it's scary. Yeah, but they might the situation is scary. Pretty soon complete. Yeah. Okay, we'll take back garden, then we'll reinforce, and then everything will be fine. Okay, he we said, got that fleet. voice shaking, yes. palms sweating. <laughs> My palms are always sweating. It's a condition. Gross. I, I know. didn't need to know that. Yeah. Okay, but they, they only got one. Oh, but they got a construction ship. God damn these construction assholes. Uh, can we take on an 80k fleet? Probably not, because we're about equal, and that's bad. Uh, yeah, no, I'd, I'd prefer to be in a 
and a stronger How many construction ships do they have? Do they just keep making more and more? I think they do keep sending through more, yeah. That sucks. Yeah, and war in it says glory to the GTU and subscribes for nine months. We Hell are yeah. popular today. Oh shit. They moved in that fleet to that place where I don't think we can take him. Ah. Uh, uh, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. Well, we do have long-range weapons, so... Yeah, and they're shooting now. Okay, we might we might have this until something bad happens, and then we won't. How does that sound? Hmm. <laughs> you make me scary. Yeah. I mean, jumping these things was a risky move, and maybe it's going to cost us, and the game froze, but it's fine. Because it always does that now. Yeah, it's not that alarming anymore. Yeah, and we do have reinforcements coming in from the gateway from behind, so that's kind of neat. Ooh, pincer movement. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we got this. Okay. But now they, they keep building more shit. Uh, <sighs> stop doing that. All right, I'm going to drain a bunch of commissariats and reinforce all these fleets because, like, we're, we're really hurting. But do we even have any minerals left in the commissariats? Yes, but... Not as many as I'd like. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. Reinforcing Ugh. all the fleets. Holy shit. Yep. And we're going to need to... Uh... Oh, there's a construction fleet literally in like the Veyer system right beside Guard. Yes. So that's the next target. Yeah. All right. Come on. Reinforce. Okay, so that's they're all slowly being reinforced, but we'll just keep moving, pressing forward, killing these construction fucking things. Yeah, Except they got at fun. least one other, some two others that I can see. One in Exa Lawn and yeah, fuck. How long can I see how? Uh... Like, is it two hundred days for that um, effect to happen? But where do you see how many days are left? Yeah, that's a. That's a good point. Uh, I don't actually. Oh, when I got another fleet of unbidden heading towards. Uh, ah, fuck! Is this gonna be reinforced in time? Apparently, it's on the jump icon. Uh, but it's not saying how much time's left, unless it's already over. But that can't be right. Oh, I. See. Oh no, they got two fleets. I right. fucking unbidden man. This is. This is, not going. Amazing. Meanwhile, we got fleets down to like 40k and... Uh. Yeah. Oh, boy. At the start of this, they I'm... were all like up to 90, I think. Yeah, they were all like high 80s, low 90s. We gotta keep up the resources longer than the Unbidden, I guess, is the only thing we can do. Attritionated. Attritionated, yes. Okay, <laughs> but... That is, uh, we've almost got this pocket. If we can just annihilate these last two construction ships. And I think we got to go for it right away because we just can't keep uh, doing this over and over again. Yeah, like, you know, we take out one, they build two. It's like some sort of annoying Hydra. <laughs> okay, so where's the nearest construction ship? Wait, actually, you know, they're all kind of... I think these two fleets can deal with these last two construction ships, so we should move the giant fleet to start mopping up the other side of the uh, crisis. Yeah, we do need to deal with the other half here, because whose space are they going into uh, right It used now? to be the dragons, the Rugathurian Imperial Domain, but now it's just Chaotic Zone number five. Yeah, but who who's uh, to the north there? Oh, uh, the Z Commonwealth of Xana, and they've been doing jack shit for uh, us. They're too busy, like, yeah. spending all their time not doing anything. Well, I did see that they just claimed a system. Like, they just built their own station uh -huh. and a gateway. Also, so they're doing something. Uh, some minor problems. The, uh, fuck, the Unbidden have jumped in from the other side of the system where all the reinforcements were. So now we gotta climb over, or not climb, we gotta sail over here. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't make any sense what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just, I'm panicking. 
<laughs> I can tell that you're panicking. They came from the wrong uh, side of the system. This is you're about to leave, so now we gotta come back. But they've also moved their construction ship, I think. So I think we already killed one. Woo! But they built another one, God damn it. Yeah, it's... Ugh. Huh. Okay, but we're, we're probably gonna take down this fleet, so that's good. And then we gotta just get one last one, and then their construction ships on this side of the galaxy are done. And I also don't see any more construction ships on this side of the galaxy. So... That's good. <laughs> question mark? Um, I saw a question for who won the raffle. The raffle will be... The winner will be decided in about an hour and 15 minutes from now. So you've got plenty of time to earn credits if you don't have any yet. And place your... Uh, your uh, Enter your, your tickets. Yeah. Um, so just to, uh, to reiterate here... Um, you can buy up to a maximum of five tickets. Each ticket costs one credit. Type exclamation mark raffle space the number of tickets that you want to buy. Uh, yeah, if you want to see how many credits you've got, type exclamation mark credit. Precisely. Okay, now we're heading back to Garden. And rather than heading straight for the gateway, I guess we should kill that fleet before it does anything. Yeah, I may as well. I mean, you're right there. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's in the way. Okay, so that's happening there. I feel like it, like we're managing a ton of stuff right now. I, okay, oh, fuck. Wait, did I want this to happen? I don't remember what... what okay, now we're fighting something here. Ugh. There's a lot of fighting going on. It is. It's almost like this is an endgame crisis. It's so violent. Construction complete. Okay, but that's one less unbidden fleet. How many have we destroyed at this point? We have destroyed 1,500 ships to everyone else in the galaxy's 500. <laughs> so everyone else in the galaxy really needs to step this up because yeah, yeah like we are clearly winning this thing yeah doing all the work yeah okay now all the heavy fleet. lifting okay uh i can't keep track of what's happening because everything there's too many icons oh my god yeah I but see this. our giant cloud of numbers is heading against their one number and i think our numbers <laughs> are bigger so we will win <laughs> Yay! Welcome and to thanks, Solaris. Eternal Night, Eternal Night ninety nine subscribed for thirteen months. Thank you. Are we really on thirteen months now? Thirteen months, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it doesn't seem real. No, it really doesn't. Okay, so that's one more unbidden fleet dead. Now we can finally go over to this nice. side of the galaxy, God willing, right? Hopefully, yeah. Actually, cause some damage over there. There's an undefended construction ship, right? Or is that a fleet? Uh, It's a fleet. I, I, I haven't ah. seen any construction ships on this side, except for they got two in the Baxam system. Oh, wait. I can just go right there. Uh, oh, no, because I'd have to go yeah. to the Pash Nebula, and that's where their thing is, so I'm not I'm avoiding Ooh. that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I knew no, I had a reason. Let's not do that. But we can jump there. I, uh, but then we lose all our strength, and that seems like a giant pain in the ass. Like, we're still paying for yeah. it on this side of things. Now we're going up against another Unbidden Fleet. Mm. Holy shit. Ah. Spirica says, are there any independent empires left to conquer, or or will the game be won once the Unbidden are dead? Yes, once the Unbidden are vanquished, or we are, uh, we we're will... Gonna call it. We're gonna call it. It's gonna be done. Could be either or at this point. Who knows? <laughs> Although I hope it's them. I hope it's them too. But uh, if we do end up losing, I gotta say from a narrative standpoint, I might be okay with it. Yeah, it'd be kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Although that is defeatist and you will be arrested for saying that. Yes, but I'm like, this is like meta. The meta yes, I understand. version of me is saying, I kind of hope that we die. But oh, shit. the real Another citizen construction ship. is like, we gotta win. They, okay, yeah, there's another construction ship over there. This is super annoying. And they got three more over here? Where are these... God damn, yeah. these construction ships. Well, it's almost like they're coming out of their... Uh, thing. Well, they should go back there. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But that were, back where it came from more so helped me. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. That's from Finding Nemo. Yeah. Wait, no, that's from Monsters, Inc. I know. Okay. I don't know why you agreed with me. Because I, I got confused. 
No, no, I like your instincts, though. Whatever happens, just agree with Mark. <laughs> Alright, finally moving on this side of things. Finally! Jeez Louise. If we can just keep taking more gateways and stuff, that'll help us move around quicker and react to all this bullshit. Oh my god, yes. Because I would love to be able to get around that patch system without, you know, jumping. Yeah. Okay, now we're going, but there's another fleet, but I think we got this one in the bag, too. Ooh. How many, like, it's just, they keep coming. Yeah. Like a wave of jerks. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Spaceport reports enemy contact. Spaceport reports contact? What? Are they in sticks, maybe? Please, no. No, they're not. Then who... What spaceport? I have no idea. Let's ignore it for now and just assume everything's fine. <laughs> that's, uh, that's... Uh, I'll do a quick risky. scan of the Union. Everything seems fine. Oh, we still have the Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah! Why aren't we they using should do them? something. God, Breek in there confuses me oh, all yeah. the time. They picked a like, bad can, color. Can you can you not change the color? Uh no. I have no power here. Hmm. Alright, the suicide squad's going in. I'm just gonna send them after that construction ship. <laughs> Alright. Sounds like a plan. Uh Griffin says, okay, so I just watched the latest GTU video on YouTube. What great and old race did you awaken now? Um, you're about like fifty years behind, but yeah. yeah, we 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 started a war in heaven, and then the unbidden showed up, and we're still technically in the war in heaven because the Jasko guys are still kicking. Yeah, fuck the Jasko guys. I hate those guys. Yeah, they've been nothing but jerks. Those peacock type. Okay, on the plus side, I mean the what do we got here? The the first expeditionary. And the second expedition are getting absolutely hammered. Like, they've been mauled big time. Yeah, they've seen better days. But finally making inroads on this side of the galaxy. Slowly but surely. And it looks like actually a lot of the reinforcements have come in, so that those fleets are doing a bit better. Um, over oh, yeah, those here, look like higher numbers. What I just do? I click somewhere. Okay. Harlequin Red Sky says, you need to keep a fleet secured at that system north of Pash to stop more construction ships from pushing out. Ugh, that's not a terrible idea, but I'm just trying to get, like, the construction ships that have already escaped, you know? Because there's, like, a couple... There's one somewhere. I just lost it. Uh-oh. Uh I don't... Also, i got to drain another commissariat, and we're running out of commissariats to drain. In fact, we have run out. Oh, wait, no, we got a couple more, but it's uh still scary. Yeah. I mean... Oh, and our economy is, like, not as good as I remember it being before. Yeah, it's seen, seen better days. And we are super over fleet capacity, but I think that's okay right now. It's a sign of the times. <laughs> yep. Okay, another construction ship here. So that's going to die. So that's good. Nice. Um, But they still got one over there. Okay, but the Suicide Squad's here. Okay, the Suicide Squad will lose this battle, but if they can just kill that at construction ship, then it will all be worth it. Yeah! Please kill the construction ship. Please kill the construction How ship. How do I get it to just shoot the construction ship, though? Because it seems to be attacking that main fleet. Okay, I, I, think, think, I, I think I got it. And target. Yeah. Wait, what just happened with the Commonwealth of Capisi? Oh, they became uh, Xeno files. Oh. Which I don't really okay. care about. If they like us better, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but look at this. Making some inroads. Woo! Look at that. Cleaning up. Okay, and so far I don't see any more construction ships except for the one over there, but the Suicide Squad is on it. Meanwhile, these fleets are kind of fully healed in that they're not healed at all, but I'm going to send them anyways because we're in a rush. Yeah. We, we've got stuff to do. Yeah, we got plans, man. Big plans. Yeah, things to clean up. All right, the Suicide Squad is moving in. <gasps> God bless those bastards. Those brave, brave heroes. Alien heroes, I guess, but still well, moderate yeah. heroes. 
Yeah. I mean, you can you can recognize bravery in all races. Yeah, sure, why not? I do want to see how the, uh, how the Suicide Squad does, though, so <laughs> as soon as the game unfreezes, I'll be going over there. All right. How many anchors are left? Oh, uh, 19. Ooh. And uh, weirdly enough, the Kingdom of Partoga took over the homeworld of the Florians, the old Florian homeworld. Interesting. I don't know why. Well, I mean, there's no Florians there anymore, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yep. Them's the breaks. All right, Suicide yeah, Squad. Oh, the Suicide Squad is... That fleet's moving. If they just kill the construction ship, this will all be worth it. Come on. Take out the construction ship. Ah. Those assholes are not doing it. Shoot the construction ship. Please. Pretty please. Suicide Squad's doing a bit better than I thought, though. They might actually win. They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> wow. What? The construction ship is flying right past them. Come on, you assholes. Don't let it get away. Okay, we got reinforcements coming in. Maybe they'll get the construction ship. I think they've got it. Uh, uh, oh my god, they're actually going to win? What the shit? This is amazing. It's an outrage. That was funny. <laughs> but the construction ship's gone, so we're good. Yeah. Everything was worth it. Let's just keep the Suicide Squad right where it is. Uh, yeah, I don't see any reason not to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. I mean, that works for me. Meanwhile, on this side of the galaxy, we're, we're heading into... How many anchors I got left? Ah, wrong button. Wrong button again. 16 anchors. We're making progress. Ooh, boy. Remember when they were at, like, 38 or something? I do remember that. I remember even saying, 38? Damn. Or something along those lines. <laughs> I don't ever remember hearing you say, damn. Oh, okay, the Suicide Squad is totally going to die now because they are at 47k against 80k. So they had a good yeah. run of one battle, but they're, they're done. Rip. Meanwhile, the non-Suicide Squads are on the way to the Shorak system. Should we try to save the Suicide Squad? I feel kind of bad, because they they really... Uh... <sighs> they knew what they were getting into. We can retreat them in 14 days. It might be worth it. Although they're cleaning up again. I mean, they're, they're going to lose, wow. but they're, they're taking these guys down. Wow. This is impressive. Yeah, I think they... I think I got to... Re should I retreat in three days? Uh... Yeah, I'm getting them out of there. Yeah. All right. But now we got a bunch of reinforcements that are just going to head off to die. But I don't see any more Oops. construction ships, so that entire side of the galaxy, I think, is is good to go. Nice. Another battle over here. Another day, another battle. But uh, we're wiping them out. What uh, what aliens were in the Suicide Squad? Uh, the Rixians. Uh, that's the fleet we took from them when we integrated oh, them. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And then we put all the convicts there. <laughs> as a joke. Yes. As a nod to one of the greatest films of Earth's history. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate that movie so much. It's one of the only remaining relics. That was the only movie that survived the Tyrant War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that and Ghostbusters 2. And the reboot. No, just Ghostbusters 2. Oh. Well, that's not so bad. Ghostbusters <laughs> 2 wasn't terrible. Yeah, but there was none of the first ones. Oh, so they had no context. They had no context. Oh, that's awful, because then people think Ghostbusters yeah. isn't that good of a series. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. That... Larissa, I... take it back. <laughs> I can't, man. Construction complete. It's truth. I love Ghostbusters. I know you do. Uh, Master Thief Esquire cheered 100 zombie shlum slams and says, We Xenos who are about to die salute you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like that. Yep. The Commonwealth of Xan is actually helping out. Maybe. Nice. Wait, never mind. It's someone else. The Union of Nymeria, maybe? Oh. 
Oh, yeah. New Nun of Miriam, Firaxians, Commonwealth of PC. Yeah. I've spotted those construction ships, though. They're close uh -huh. by, but they're in a gateway. And now they've moved to a different gateway. Fuck, they're over there again. Ah! Will this land never know peace? Goddamn gateways. Okay, well, we're going to move over there and really seal off that, that thing now, because this is getting... There's some bullshit happening here. Yeah, lots of bullshit. Also, I keep forgetting to move some of these fleets. That's my bad. But another gateway's down. Uh, wasn't there something about, like, control groups? Yes, but I've kind of forgotten who's in what control group. <laughs> Uh, but I will do that as soon as I've kind of regrouped here a bit, because that is a smart idea that I completely forgot about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're only playing this once a week, it's easy to forget. That's true. We should all have lower expectations for me. <laughs> what the hell's happening here? Oh, there's a fucking gateway. Oh, it's always something. <sighs> it's always some... God... Okay, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take these guys out, I think. And then we'll just keep cleaning up. We got another... How many anchors they at? Twelve! Hot damn. What? Twelve anchors left. Woo! Um, Carbon Nova says, might want to check in sticks. Sticks still good. Nice. Yeah. I actually... I, I'm not sure if they have access to any... Oh, wait, no. They totally do. Yeah. yeah, I think that was, like, one of the earlier things that we freaked out about. And then someone was like, oh, no, they can't use L gates. And then they immediately started attacking in our L gate, or in our L cluster. And that guy was executed. Yes. Okay. Um, but we're making a ton of good progress on the side of the galaxy. I'm very excited about it. Yep. I'm doing that thing oh, I said was a bad idea. I know what uh, Lady Grey is up to. Should we bring in Lady Grey out of retirement? I think we should. She's just been managing the soul sector because she gets us a ton more minerals, but I wouldn't mind having her around for this final kind of assault, you know? Yeah. You know, it's symbolic. All right, let's get gray. Yep. Make happy face says GTU, end game. Coming to a theater near you. Lady Gray is now a dude, by the way, but whatever. Eh, it's, she's still Lady Gray. I thought Lady Gray was a man. It's whatever it wants to be. That's from <laughs> Ghostbusters. Is it from Ghostbusters 2, though? No, it's from the first one. No, you don't get to quote the first one. What? I... You no! only get to quote Ghostbusters 2 and Suicide Squad. This sucks. I don't like this you're gonna, anymore. If you're going to quote old films, it's got to be canon ones. The Greater Terran Union truly is a dystopia. <laughs> what, uh, what entertainment do you figure the GTU would have been doing mostly propaganda, or do you think they've also got... Uh, uh, no, I, I think, like, actual, like, fun stuff, too. Like, actually cultural... Sig like, m films of cultural significance? Yeah. Um, like, they're not so one-dimensional that, like, only propaganda is allowed. Also, can they just kill this construction ship, please? That would really help me out. Hmm. Oh, I think it's gonna get away. No! Shit, yeah, I think it's gonna get away. But I've sent these guys Master. to go after it, so maybe they'll... I don't know, we, we could probably chase it down. It's just one more annoying thing to worry about. Yeah. Yeah. On the plus side, though, this side of the galaxy is looking a lot better. Like, there's not much left. Like, we can do this! We can totally do this. <sighs> Ghostbusters 2, that's the word. Oh, wait, I think that construction ship bought it. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> I, when I wasn't paying attention, I think we destroyed it. Nice. It's totally, like, out of minerals now, though, and I, I don't want to drain anything. But we've cleared, I think, this entire mm. section of the galaxy. So we'll just keep stuff here um, to hold off any more construction ships from escaping. Okay. I like this plan. Are you happy to be part of it? No, that's Ghostbusters 1 quote. Yep. Yep. No more showers for you. What, what quotes are there in Ghostbusters 2? There's no good ones. It's just like, like, suck in your guts, boys, with the Ghostbusters. I think that's the only thing they say that's funny. I don't know. There, there's some fun stuff in Ghostbusters 2. It's just like the first one is so good, you know? 
Yep, I know, man. I don't think you do. Whoa, that station did not last very long. It didn't. I think I, we're I getting blinked. really good at killing these gassholes. <laughs> I blinked and I missed it. <laughs> Literally. Nice. They got more reinforcements coming in, but I think we're... Where are you guys going? No, help them. Help them, you fools. <laughs> and they got one more construction ship over here. Like, we are mopping up. I'm liking Look this. At this. Look at this! Uh, I've got a question. When is the raffle gonna be? Oh. Is that for me? That's that's uh, that's in an hour. Oh, okay. Calling, thought... Declaring the winner in an hour. I thought you were asking me and it freaked me out, because I don't know. You're in charge of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I was pausing for dramatic effect. Oh, okay. It scared me. Alright, I'm bringing in Lady Grey. Or Dude Grey, as it is now. Nah, it's still Lady Grey. Okay. Lady Grey is also coincidentally my favorite tea. Really? Yeah. Isn't it just Earl it's Grey? Earl, it's Earl Grey tea, but with extra orange peel in it. Oh, really? That's a, that's a thing? Yeah. Or orange is ladylike or something? What's the story I, there? I guess so. I don't know. You know that old stereotype, women and their oranges. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I look and forward to I... when uh, every stereotype is dead and we can just make fun of how stupid they all are. <laughs> okay. Yep. So yep. I guess since Lady Grey is now a dude, I guess we could call it Earl Grey? Sure. I still like Lady Grey. It just sounds neat. Lady Lady Grey, Lady Grey sounds so cool. Yeah. Like Kind of like she's a ghost, you know? Ooh. Yes. Which I guess she is. I have no idea how to work that into canon, but sure. There's <laughs> ghosts now. <laughs> Made of nanites. But we got the Ghostbusters, so we're fine. Yes. Yeah. Um, I gotta, somebody else also asked the question. Sorry. Um, yeah, somebody else asked, like, what what are we giving away in the raffle? The, the, the raffle giveaway is the GTU towel. Ooh. So if you want to enter that raffle, type in exclamation mark raffle, followed by the number of tickets you want to buy, to a maximum of five. We've changed the rules this time, folks. But each ticket only costs one credit, so, you know, it, it kind of equals out. It does. Also, I think a construction ship got away. <laughs> no. Um, no! But it only got away back to their home system. So if we can just contain oh. them in there... Then it's fine. Yeah. And Chippa One just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look. Look at this. They're so tiny and pathetic now. Yeah. They were once the masters. Now they are not that. <laughs> Sorry, I wasted all my writing talents on that script. Well, if you're going to waste your writing talent somewhere... There's the where to do it. Yeah, I forgot to ask. Did, did people like the latest episode? I'm very insecure. I need to know. <laughs> Tell me I, could, I did a good job, please. I need this. I need this more than you know. All right, so... This is looking very good. Complete. Woo! Bulwick says, one of the most well-received movies in GTU is Warring Private Ryan, the story of how a simple private in the safe overcame the odds and eventually founded the Ryan's Raiders. Who was that guy who took over that planet on his own? Ted? Ted, yeah, Ted. <laughs> he also has oh, a movie. Oh, I miss Ted. Yeah. Ted's got a movie, obviously. And uh, chat, super, super liked the episode. They're all like, it's amazing. It's That's very good. good. It, it took me a yeah. while to get back into it. I, I don't know why. Like, I didn't think it'd be that difficult, but it took me a long time to get that first paragraph done. I don't... Yeah. Uh, I mean, it ended up being super good. So. I hope so. Uh, I hope people enjoy the whole story of this thing. But uh, this is, like, coming together really well. Like, we've been beating back every unbidden fleet everywhere. They've still got a million of them, but they're not moving, so that's good. We've cut off their home system, so they can't actually expand anymore. So as soon as we get this, we got them. We got him! We got him! Let's show this bitch how we do things downtown. Wait, is it prehistoric bitch? Fuck, did I mess that up? I don't know. Okay. 
<laughs> Random interrupt says Armageddon. Armageddon. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think... We're going to win this. I think you're right. Unbidden the unbidden. Good evening. On behalf of the city, county, and state of New York, I hereby request that you return to your place of origin or the closest convenient parallel dimension. I think that's what he says, doesn't it? Isn't that the line? I couldn't tell you, honest. What do you do all day uh, but if not watching Ghostbusters? Uh, many, many other things. Um, End of Man cheered at 75 Shlim Shlams and says, Only the most horrible movies survived because upon a Tyrum looking upon a screen that was playing them, that drone would die. Would that be the, the worst? I love the idea of weaponizing Ghostbusters too. That sucks. Though, like, because it would mean that, like, future generations would think we all sucked. Yeah. Yeah, the most popular movie of the 20th, 21st century was Cheaper by the Dozen 2. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, they got three gateways left. <laughs> That's nothing. Gateways or... Or uh, what I say. Anchors. Anchors, yeah, sorry. Um, make that, it's going to be a little less soon. Yeah. So this, is, this is all coming together. Nice. Occultatum, occultatum, blay. It says, I think a popular TV series in the GTU would be a Terran Wasari buddy cop slash documentary. Oh, yeah. And their quest to search for the Mist Man. Let's get one thing straight, Wasari. I don't like you. As soon as this case is over, you're out on your ass. <laughs> and then by the end of it, it's like the opposite of that. Once again, my writing is not great at the moment. Yeah. Or thinking of things, I guess. Yeah, the Mist Man. We gotta make that miniseries, Larry. Oh god, we do. We do. Oh, it's the Paranistia are attacking. That's nice of them. Finally helping About out. About goddamn time. Yeah, I'd rather them die than us, you know? Yeah. But I think we're gonna have to bail them out because they're fucking it up. Ah. Huh. <sighs> but I mean... Two anchors left? Right? Yeah, Looks two left. Like... My god. Oh, the Paranisti actually... Oh, no. They retreated like suckers. But we're going to come in and save the day. Because we always do. Correct. Bulwick says, is the Wasari the equivalent of Space Canadians? The super nice and helpful stereotype? <laughs> Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. And, like, the Wasari are really into crullers. Into what? Crullers. What's that? It's like that? a donut. Oh. It's a cross between a donut and a croissant. That's a thing? I don't like that. That doesn't yeah. sound good. Oh, man. I fucking love crullers. Do they have them at Tim Hortons? Wait, no. Cronuts is what I'm thinking of. Cronuts? Okay, that Cronuts makes more sense. Cronuts is a cross between a croissant a and a donut. Cruller's a kind of donut. It, it sounds like a, a knockoff of the Critters, which was itself a knockoff <laughs> of, like, Gremlins or something. Look out, it's the Crullers! Okay. The point is, they got one gateway left, and I'm going to mass ah! all our shit around it, and then we're going to do one giant attack, and I'm going to reinforce everything, I'm going to drain every single commissariat, and this is going to be it. This is going to be it? This is going to be it? Oh my god! What's this operation called? Uh, I ain't afraid of no ghost. <laughs> god, I'm funny. Almost too funny. <laughs> You know what? I like it. Okay, we need to drain even more commissaries because Jesus, we're out of. We're out of everything. I, I keep pressing the wrong button. I keep Operation adding End Game. Operation Return to Sender. Return to Sender. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, I can't imagine they'd be so flippant over something so critical. But that is an amazing. <laughs> Return to Sender. Address unknown. You know that song by Elvis? No, I don't know that. Called Return to Sender. Is that what it's called? Yeah. We're also going to bring back the Suicide Squad. Do it, man. We're bringing well. in all the hits. All the, well, the whole team. Is Grey actually over here? Uh, Yeah, she's been hanging out. Wait, where the hell is she? 
Oh yeah, there she is. She's in the cam system, and she's on the way to the okay. rendezvous. All right. Did she actually do anything, or is she just kind of? She's been, been giving constructive feedback. Okay. Everyone loves her. Well, yeah. I mean, it's hard not to. Or constructive criticism, I guess I meant to say. But I mean, feedback can be constructive, I guess. Yeah. Oh right, we're technically at war with the Ladians. Yeah, we've been kind of um, ignoring them because they're full of shit. Yeah, Blazing Wolf 1941 wants to know who's defending against them. Nobody, but they're pathetic. Oh, shit, they've actually taken a few systems from us. We should get a... Or maybe we took them from them. I don't know. The point is we're eventually going to take them. Take those back when, yeah. when this nightmare is finally over. <laughs> Kaiser Logo says, Operation Cross the Streams. You never cross the streams. <laughs> I was going to save that joke for Esperanza. Ah, uh, I get and we're it. Doing, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I get you. I get you. Because, like, ever since we started streaming, I'm like, streams, Ghostbusters, there's a joke there. I just got to find it. And I still haven't. <laughs> Aw. I guess maybe our next big multiplayer where we've got two oh, yeah. streams. Don't cross the streams and get demonetized by, uh... <laughs> imagine by every everyone. molecule in your body being demol <laughs> demonetized at the speed of light. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, they got one anchor left. We've killed almost 2,000 ships. The rest of the galaxy has killed 600. we got to make sure that the rest of the galaxy doesn't invade that last system before we can. Yeah, um, maybe we should move in now. Nah, I don't see anything. We, we can wait just a bit. I want to get all the fleets at full power. we got to get the Suicide Squad in there. They've already arrived, actually, so they're going to be there shortly. Oh, but I see allied fleets. Is there our? Yeah, yeah okay, like, we're still I... fine. We're still fine. It's our allies. They're not going to move without us. Are you sure? Oh yeah, they're all just they're all having a great time. Ooh, safe, safe, safe. Oh yeah, thank you. Too many saves. I feel like this has been a problem for a very, very long time, and you should no longer be surprised. Yeah, I'm constantly surprised. That thing that always happens happened again? <laughs> what? What? Okay, but the fleets are on the way. The Suicide Squad is almost there. Bad. Ooh, 45 minutes before the raffle closes, everybody. If you want to win a GTU towel, enter the raffle, type exclamation mark raffle, followed by the number of tickets you want to buy. You can get five tickets. We should time the final battle to when the raffle ends. We should just sit here for 45 minutes. Let's not do that. Okay, fine. But I mean, we're so close. They're they're almost fully reinforced. Like, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Is there anything else you want to bring in? Uh. I'd say the sort of terror, but it might just get blown up. So let's not do that. Let's not do that. I mean, there's nothing for it to shoot anyway. We could bring the Terran home fleet. No. I think we should. No, 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 no. But it's no. just hanging around at Earth. It's going to miss the battle. Yeah, that's fine. It needs to hang around at Earth. That's kind of the point of the home fleet. Can we do a poll? Mm, okay. Yes. Actually, chat seems to be against it. I thought chat would want, uh, want the home fleet, but apparently not. Construction complete. Whenever I think I understand chat, I'm always proven wrong. Alright, poll is up. Type one or two. One for yes, two for no. Should we bring the Terran home fleet to the front? No is killing it, damn it. Yeah. Okay, fine, fine. I think I, wait, the vote could still turn. The marshals turn. have declared. The, the marshals have declared. God damn those Terran home fleet stays. Fine. But I get to complain about it relentlessly and ruin the stream. Okay. We are so over our fleet moment, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fine. Yeah, let's let's invade. I want to invade. But there's more ships. We got to we got to wait for the reinforcements to all get there. Where's the fire, Larry? The fire has gone out of the universe. Yes.
man, they're still building a ton of stuff. This might take actually a while. Should we just move in? I think we should just move in. I'm going to give in. it five more minutes where we'll just talk about our memories. Um. <laughs> but not of the stream of just like other things. Well, apparently Gray is broken. She's not moving. Oh, is she still there? Uh, no, she's part of the part of the whole gang. I mean, I can't find her in the soup, but she's in there somewhere. That is a, ugh, that's what? a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, there, there she is. Okay. There's unrest on this planet, the ship planet we almost blew up and then just took over. Oh. That's for the Lost Baranians. That's Oh, that's in... Never mind. I'm thinking of a different planet, but whatever. It's fine. Construction complete. Is five minutes up yet? Can we invade now? Now, now, Larissa. Hold your horses. Can't have too many exciting things happen on the stream. No one would want that. Now, today we're going to talk about trade regulations. No! All right. <laughs> Although I am getting antsy, too. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do it. I don't know. I'm going to select a bunch of stuff. How about that? And I'm going to put them in that control group that I said I was going to do earlier. I... Okay, and I'm also going to select Alright, so now I got the super control group and I'm going to move all the stuff to the edge of, this, uh, of the system so they all get there at the same time And it's going to be really boring and no one's going to have any fun yeah. Dresmond Aya says, Mark, stop making us suffer Attack! Cancel the apocalypse! Hashtag chat must suffer <laughs> Finally taking this back. <laughs> Ooh. Our economy is tanking, bro. Yeah. What are you, a finance bro? Bro, the economy. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, man. Trickle-down economics just isn't viable. Actually, I think you might be right. I do think trickle-down economics is stupid. Oh, they've attacked us, but they're going to get... Ah. They're going to last all of two seconds. They're, yeah, they're, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get wrecked. Bye. <laughs> okay. The game right. is freezing. No. But we're so close. Can you taste it? I can taste it. It's a little bit, like, metallic. You know, Ugh. like iron. Ooh, okay, I get it. Uh. So, yeah, I think it might be time. Yes, to let's wait do it. another 20 minutes. <laughs> they attacked us with construction ships, but I was too slow to actually see the the battle. <laughs> uh Bulwick says I request an epic speech before the attack. Um speech, speech. Uh I don't got anything. You got anything? I don't have anything. But you should save. Yes. Wow, chat really wants a speech. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll just spend the next 20 minutes writing one. How about that? Okay. Uh, I mean, I feel like you could come up with something by yourself. Like what? My name is hey. Ash, and I am a slave. No, not that. That's, that's plagiarism. Oh, okay. Ooh, I can't believe we didn't prepare for this final moment. It's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we must go out with a bang. Let's go with a whimper. <laughs> Everyone talks uh, about the bangs, but no one's ever even tried the whimper. For all we know, it could be great. I mean... Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Let's do it. Do it. It's go time, motherfuckers. That's my speech. It's go time! Woo! Okay, okay. I just made it a little better for you. I just took what you did and made it better because I'm talented. Yeah. All right. It's happening. It's I really happening! hope there's a giant fleet here in a giant battle. but Full screen. 
Like, what if there's full nothing screen. there? What if we just go there and full immediately screen. kill it? I'm going full screen. Yeah. Oh shit, they got uh, 153. They got 153 plus nothing. Plus Yeah, we're gonna win, but it's gonna be there's gonna be a fight. Let's do this. Let's do this! Terra and Victor, bitches! This is it, folks! I do think fuck it, let's do it was a good speech though. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the size of our fleets. Yeah, fuck the Holy shit, look at this one. Damn. Yeah, that's a mess. It's a soup. I do want to see what the hell's going on, though, so we'll have to save the cinematic shots for the recap video. Down to 94. Yeah. Oh, man. We were so ready for this. We were so ready for this! Hell yeah. Unless all the unbidden come back all at once, which they might. They they could. But there's a lot less of them now than there were a second ago. Yeah, super sure. All right, their fleet's destroyed. We're going after the portal. It's down to two Take thirds. It down, it's son. down to half. It is. Holy shit, Larry. Oh my god. Dimensional portal destroyed. The dimensional portal in the patch system has been destroyed. This means that the extra dimensional invaders can no longer receive reinforcements from their twisted realm. With the destruction of this portal, the end of these invasions is finally in sight. A profound sense of elation has settled over most of the galaxy. The greater Terran Union has won much admiration since it was their ships that struck the final blow against the portal. The crews of those vessels will be celebrated as heroes for generations to come. Yeah, they will. Uh, HUD? Yes. And now we can, uh, we can just, like, mop up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, holy sh- wait, the Unbidden's still the military station there? Is that just slowly updating, or is it- No, oh, okay, it, there it goes. It might be. Yeah, there it is. Bye-bye. So let's recall the fleets back to sticks, and then we'll redeploy them, but, uh, as mentioned, Stellaris Invicta would end once we've beaten the endgame crisis, which we have just done. So this is officially- the last stream of Stellaris Invicta season one. Officially the end, guys. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, so now we just can uh, kind of relax for the. Oh, wait, except we're getting attacked by yeah. the Ladians. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Who do they think they are? Ugh. Um, Harlequin Red Sky cheered a thousand shlum shlams. It says, Glory to the GTU! Terra Eternum! None shall withstand the might and power of the glory of Earth and humanity. That's a lot of adjectives. It is a lot of adjectives. But they're all true. And a hundred so slim works. slams from Alan Medve. For the glory of the GTU. Thanks for the slim slams, folks. Buy war bonds, even though the war is now coming to an end, and we probably don't need them anymore. But still. Oh well, I mean, our economy's meh. Yes, I mean we do need to yeah. rebuild everything and maybe dismantle some fleets that you know now they don't need them, know them, or yeah. need them anymore. Yeah. Ooh, Harley Quinn Red Sky just earned a badge. Nice. For what? For cheering a thousand shlim flams. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So the unbidden are gone. Except yeah, they're still showing have... up on, uh, I guess it's because we want to see our stats. We killed 2,000 vessels to the rest yeah. of the galaxy's 586. Ha. Pathetic. So they destroyed 36 worlds. And I guess to be fair, they still got a bunch of their fleets just hanging around, but we can let, uh, yeah. The other jackasses deal with them. Uh, yeah, we took out the the majority of the threat. Yeah, I want to I want to take back the uh, the Ladians because they've been <laughs> we've ignored them for too long. Yeah, we had bigger fish to fry. Yeah, they're just like you know something small and pathetic that could be ignored. <laughs> Yeah, and 200 Shlom Shlams from Prometheon 2077. Thank you. The The Suicide Squad made it out alive. Was that allowed? Were they supposed to do that? Um, is that, is that illegal? We might have just execute them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And we'll just say that they died in battle. Or we can just, yeah, exactly. That's what the families will, uh, will hear. Yeah, that's what they're... 
their pink letter will say. Is it a pink letter? I I don't know. Are you thinking of a pink slip? I might be I might be confusing. <laughs> I think I might be confusing it with the pink slip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, your your husband was fired. Oh, no. Oh, shit, wait. I got that backwards. He died. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a bad mistake to make. Yep. Ooh, the uh, new uh, Angela Kurtz, who's in charge of Ryan's Raiders, should become the new High Marshal. I think that'd be neat. Ooh. I kind of really hope for, like, a Wasari High Marshal. Yeah. I'm going to abstain, though, because I don't really care at this point. Yeah, I mean, does it really matter? Yeah. One. So, yeah, we do got an hour left on the stream. I think we're just going to mop up and, and talk about this yeah. whole, whole thing. Dude, like, what what did you learn what did in I this learn? whole process? Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I want to save some of this for, because I, I want to do an incoming episode on, on the whole Stellaris experiment. Because, like, this was, I, I don't know. I learned that my expectations are completely wrong all the time. Um, <laughs> like we mentioned a couple times, Stellaris and Victa was supposed to be one episode covering the the um like the, 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 the entire society. events yeah and then another episode covering all the gameplay so it, there was supposed to be two episodes of Stellaris Invicta and I think we're going to end up with ten yeah and um we didn't think it was going to be that big a deal like we thought some people would like Stellaris Invicta it would just be this, like kind of fun experiment and then everyone's been totally on board with it which has been super cool yeah, I think the the more the most surreal part of this whole project has been the incredible support and yes. like enthusiasm that the community has. It's been humbling for sure. And what was great was um, what, what episode was it that we took over the West? Sorry, was that episode one or two? Because I remember it was like super early on. Uh, yeah, I think it was. I think it might have been one even. Yeah, I hope it was episode one because I remember. Like reading um, the Discord chat uh, and seeing people be like, "The GTU has betrayed its values," and like, it was so cool to see people get really engaged in in like what the GTU would do and, and stuff. It's uh, that was really awesome. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, oh shit, good news. What? The Suicide Squad is still gonna die. Um, <laughs> one of the remnant unbidden fleets has ambushed them on route back to uh, the gateway. It's literally that scene from Lord of the Rings where what's his face dies by the orcs and when he has the ring. Wait, which scene are you talking about? It's in like the um, the extended edition where that guy who cut off Soren's finger um, has the ring, but then on the way back to Gondor, he's ambushed by those goblins. Oh, he's still door. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were talking like you know near the the end of the whole storyline. Right. Oh, it's I a, was confused. The Suicide Squad might win again. What? It's like they got reinforced the last. I think I don't know what happened, but they might win. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the Suicide Squad wow. now. They're great. They are heroes. We do have a request from Harlequin and Red Sky uh, for hour-long showers for everybody in for the For every student? Ooh. I think we should do it. I think I think it's allowed. Yeah. It'll right. be tightly regimented as to when you can have this hour-long shower. Yeah, I'll have to uh, space them out so that we don't waste all the water at once, you know? Yeah, like, we gotta we gotta spread this out over a couple of months, but yes. Um, but going in, back into things we learned from Stellaris and Victa, uh... Yeah, like, the, the fact that people cared so much means that details that I initially overlooked when we were just starting out, I'm going to have to put a lot more focus on. Like, we need to have a list of planet names, like, at the ready by the time we start, so we're not constantly having yep. to do those, like, admin streams, which were fun, but also just boring by design. Oh, no! Yeah. The Suicide Squad's been attacked by another fleet! Oh, my God! So they are going to die. <laughs> but they also, like, somehow managed to win, and it was fine, so... yeah. But I can't retreat them for 23 days. I think I think their number's up. Um, but yeah, I want to keep track of um, the leaders because I couldn't tell you who all the high marshals were over the course of this game, and I'd really like to have that kind of lineage or whatever the hell you'd call it. Mm, yeah. All right, the Suicide Squad is dead. Long live the Suicide Squad. Um, I mean, it is 
the the high marshals are in the notes because they are you know supporters in chat were incredibly oh, yeah. um, diligent with the note taking but it's it doesn't show up in canon yeah. basically ever like natasha fox i think is the only high marshal that i can remember getting mentioned by name i i think we mentioned someone else because i remember someone died maybe it was natasha fox who died but yeah um we we didn't do a lot of character work in in the whole storyline section which was disappointing yeah. i also wanted to do more with the um the individual commissariats but there wasn't really an opportunity for that i i, I don't think yeah uh although we we tried to well i mean i, tr I tried to include a bunch of like worldwide stuff in the recap episode so it wasn't just like space america again yeah uh like we mentioned like somali kingdoms and uh uh polynesian stuff and like the, the statue of mornings in jakarta it's an international flavor that i hope we achieved because that's important it really is, especially when, especially when considering that our audience is international. Yeah. So, because I remember reading some of the comments anytime that you did mention some international thing, and people got so jazzed about something that they know and love getting mentioned. Yeah, like how many times is New York going to be the center of everything, right? Like, it's boring. Yeah. Jakarta is also on Earth, and all those are the places yeah. we tried to mention. Yeah, and lots of people live there. Yes. Yeah. All right, now we're going to sweep across the uh, the Ladians. <laughs> this really <laughs> fuck them up. They don't even know what's coming. Yeah. Um, I guess I can go with the plan for the next episodes, though. Uh, oh, shit. That means there's going to be two more episodes, right? Because yeah, only the next two episode more. will cover 2600 to 2650. And then we'll do an epilogue, which will cover 2650 to infinity. So the epilogue will cover the end of the Unbidden? Uh, no, the Unbidden will be in um, uh, that last regular episode. Um, okay. And then the epilogue will cover all the stuff that we just don't like have time or want to do. Like okay, so wrapping technically up in 2658 would be the end of yeah. that second one. Well, don't tell anybody, but I kind of... Uh, I'm a, a little loose with, with, the, with the numbers, yeah. <laughs> It's just because sometimes the saves don't work up perfectly to those 50-year increments, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, some of the Suicide, suicide Squad made it out. Yeah, because they emergency FTL'd out of there. Yeah. Ten Those ships. Cowards. <laughs> Those cowards. <laughs> they're running when they're about to die? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Unacceptable. What's interesting is that like we're we're already seeing the post-war political environment shape up, where the Kingdom of Fartoga is trying yeah. to take all this former Florian territory. And the Florians are look at how tiny the Florians are. Yeah. They've got like three systems. Uh oh, no, they got a couple up here, but it's mostly no. I guess they do. They got um. Oh yeah, there's I see it. They got seven colonies left, and 109 pops. They used to have a Ooh. lot more. Ooh. Yeah, they've seen much better days. Yeah. But uh, Stellaris Invicta was something, eh? Like, that. I, this has been awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Like, I would... The, uh, the approach that we had, the Empire submissions, I think I would refine. Like, I wouldn't yes. use a document like we would last time. I'd use, like, a Google form. And, yeah, I think we would be a little better prepared for the scale Oh Next god. Time. Yeah, I remember um so we, we launched that Invicta announcement video while you were actually in town. Um you were at the, oh, right. the Comic Expo and I was like, I think I'm gonna stay behind because there was some other work I wanted to get done and I figured I, I should be here just in case like something went wrong with the Invicta announcement. And I remember just like seeing the email start to flood in like immediately and being like, Oh my god, we might have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, also, I, think um, I was only, like, passively checking in throughout the day, and I was like, wow, this is getting a lot of views. Yeah. And then my phone just kept blowing up with emails, and I was what the shit? Uh, and then we had pizza that night. And so it was out. And I'm having pizza tonight, so it's like a full circle. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ouroboros up in here. What's that? Ending how it began. That's the snake that eats its tail. I'm pretty sure that's how you say its name. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Oh, no, let me check. 
Yeah, I hate to get that wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. As long as we're getting some sweet snake references in the stream, I think we're going to be fine. <laughs> McCappy Face says, and pizzas are in the shape of a circle, OMG! <gasps> it's all connected. Oh my god. Tinfoil hat on. Yeah. So I guess the question is, oh wait, the giant federation fleet is heading towards the, uh, Whoa. the Jazz Gabaz. About time, oh, you right, assholes. So Jazz Gabaz. Yeah. Uh, Despair262 says, Headcanon, many Florian engineers took refuge in the GTU to escape the destruction of their empire and, in a, and ended up working as maintenance crews on the Dyson Sphere. Huh. <laughs> Irony. Here's something. The Florians have control of a Gaia world called the Preserve. And it's just full of, Ooh. like, a bunch of weird aliens. Like, it's... this. I wonder if this is an AI thing, because you got, like, one of each here. You got Caraxians and Bacata and... That's weird. Yeah, it's like a whole refuge. It's a it's a arc of all oh. the alien species. And there's at least one Florian there, so we should blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> or neutralize it anyway. Yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah, it looks like the Federation's gonna take on the Jazz Gavaz and we can leave that to them. We've done our part yeah. and then some. Yeah. Is there any point in us still being in the Federation? Oh, well we can't leave because we're still a part of a war. Um Oh, Otherwise, right. I'd just be like, fuck you guys. Right. Right. That's inconvenient. It is. Do we want to do, like, a little Q&A for the rest of the stream? Um, well, I was going to do a Q&A after the, uh, the epilogue or something. Because uh, I, I do want to be slightly prepared for stuff to talk about. Because, um, I don't know, we could do an informal one and we'll just repeat ourselves if that's cool. Yeah, I think I think an informal one would be fine. Sure. All right. Also, we we do have a Q and A coming out on the second, so. Yeah, that's like, true. What and if we just answer all the same questions, that would be bad. We're yeah. we're still answering, or we're still accepting questions in that. Until Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. How about just GTU questions, specifically? All right. Specific GTU questions. Yeah. Keep in mind, or, I probably like, don't know the answer. Stellaris Invicta or GTU? Oh, Stellaris Invicta, let's say, yeah. Okay. Stellaris Invicta questions. We will open the floor. But then no one's allowed to get mad if we repeat ourselves um, after the epilogue video and or during the Q&A yeah. later this month or next, next month. Yeah. Because, I mean, there's only 180-something of our closest friends here. There's going to be more people watching the Q&A when it actually happens, so I think we can... I think <laughs> only we can 180. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, actually, before we before we do the Q and A stuff, yeah, um, I want to thank the people who are actually uh, contributing to the notes because it's been incredibly helpful. Yes, you guys are the real heroes. Yeah, special shout outs to uh, Harley Quinn Reds guy, Occultatum, and there's a couple other names that I'm missing. Even if uh, you're not interested in contributing. And to hell with you for that, but no, I understand. You should check out that document just for the fun of it, because there's a lot of, like, fun jokes and stuff oh, people yeah. have added in there. Oh, yeah, it's been so cool. And um, Augustus1126 and um, Master Thief Esquire, they've been incredibly helpful with uh, writing the notes, especially in the last few months. I think the, uh, the torch has passed for many different people yeah. over the months. The oh. people who finished it were not the people who started it. And that's actually really awesome. It's cool to see people kind of um, make it their own and then, you know, leave it off to the next people who can help out. It's like a, a relay of sorts, I guess, right? Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, question. Yeah, I forgot to check. Do we have any questions? Does anyone even care? Yeah, I am I am reading. Hold on. Why are you so bad at Solaris? Uh, I don't know. Are there any Tyrim left? Oh, uh... Actually, that's a good question to ask right now because probably not going to be in game ever again. So, yeah. there's anything you wanted to see uh, in the actual game? How do I bring up contact? There we go. Um, no, it'd be under species, wouldn't it? Yes. Tyrum, Tyrum, Tyrum. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, no. They are exterminated? There's some Tycan, which are unrelated. Yeah. Wait, this is just in our empire, right? Uh, no, this is the galaxy wide. Wow. I wonder who the most populous species is. I hope it's us. <laughs> oh, yeah, humans by a mile. Nice. There's 1,200 humans to a bunch of synthetics. They aren't even yeah. close. We are dominating this galaxy now and always. <laughs> nice. As promised in the original trailer for this thing. Yep. Next question. Uh, how's the mod coming along? Um, it's kind of stalled. We've really got to finish yeah, it. Yeah, we, we do need to work yeah. on that. Yeah, like we got to rush it out now because... I, mean, I don't know, uh, I thought we had more time, and then we didn't. Well, Oops. we got two months. There'll be one more episode in April, and then the epilogue in May, so... Uh, I, the good news yeah. is we have some folks in our community. I think Bullwick, am I getting that right? That he's been working on Solaris mods quite a bit? Um, yeah, he's provided some support. He's mostly focusing on an XCOM 2 mod, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's making a, a Mark voice pack for what's, XCOM 2. What's truly frightening is how well that worked out. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was. Uh. Yeah. All right. Next question, Razul. Why you no use Fleet Manager? Okay. People give me shit about a lot of stuff in Stellaris, but sometimes the game is just broken. Like, I have been using the Fleet Manager. The problem is just sometimes in reinforced fleets, the reinforcements get delayed, or they just decide not to integrate with the fleet they're supposed to reinforce. So, you end up with like a million small fleets. Like, case in point, we got a whole shit ton of them just sitting around. So. I do use Sleep Manager. It's just, it's not perfect, and sometimes it's annoying. And when you're trying to get the, the stream continuing at a pace that's fun for people to watch, like, you don't want to spend a lot of time seeing me fitting, you know, mess around with that thing. Is that a good answer, or am I just making excuses? Uh, that, I will leave that to John. That's for the public to decide. John Q. Yes. Public. John Q. Public. Griffin asks, here's a question no one will think to ask. What is the favorite food of the general? Stroganoff. <laughs> I don't know. What do you What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm down with the. Well, basically, it would be wherever their homeland is, right? Because yeah, I true. feel like Rodina would probably have like a lot of stroganoff and those types of dishes. That's very true. Hashtag not all generals like the same exact yeah. thing. Yeah, but it would it would depend on who the largest uh, community was that founded a particular planet that they grew up on. Yeah, I feel like that would fundamentally um, shape. The cuisine is the founding members. And then also the, the restrictions that the planet has on food. Do you think uh, alien food ever took off? I think I think there probably is like a niche market for specific alien foods. Yeah. Kind of like what sushi was before it got popular. Yeah, I can understand that. Like I yeah. fundamentally believe that food is a great way to end racism. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, like anyone who hates, I don't know, Muslims or people from the Middle East should go to the shawarma place across the street and then have some shawarma and then come back to me. Because it's so yeah. good. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, Daniel W or SWE says, what is the next Stellaris thing planned? Season two. Yeah. Oh, actually, I mean, um, technically we got that community game coming. Oh, yeah. That'll be probably next month. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, how that works is if you're at a certain level on our Patreon, I can't remember the exact tier. Is it $25 or something? It's $25, yeah. Yeah, you get priority access to this community game of Stellaris we're doing. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to open it up to to lower tiers. It, it depends on interest, I guess, right? Um, yeah. I think the interest is pretty high, though, to be honest. Yeah, it does seem to be pretty popular. So if you want to take part in that, uh, pledge $25 and above. And... I should note that like pledging doesn't guarantee access because depending on interest, we might not we might have too many slots and we're trying to figure out a way to get more people involved, but it's tricky, so bear with us. Yeah. And it's it's gonna be rough. I know that for sure. Yeah. Carbon Nova asks, has the Mistman been found or has the case gone cold? Oh god, I gotta figure out a way to update the Mistman. I was hoping to get one more done for the stream, but we didn't have time. Uh but mm -hmm. I, I know who the Mist Man is. I discovered it. And I haven't told anybody yet, but I know who he is. <gasps> what? Yeah, I told you this. You know I? who it is? Yeah, I, did I tell you this a while ago? No. Yes, I totally did, and you'd have forgot. But I know who the Miss Man is. Who is it? I'm not going to tell you. 
but if you already told me, then you can tell me again. No, I, I didn't tell you who the Mist Man was. I told you that I know who the Mist Man was, or is. Well, that's what I'm asking. Who's the Mist Man? I'm not going to tell you. I, I can't just reveal <sighs> that willy-nilly. <sighs> it's the greatest mystery of the age. I, I'm just going to be like, oh, the Mist Man <laughs> is Jerry, you know, from down the block. The Mist uh, Man is not Jerry from down the block. Or is it? <laughs> All right. Or is it uh, Mrs. Rothschild in the library with a shower head? What? Miss Rothschild, What'd you say, dear? There we go. There it is. Yeah. We're bringing back all the hits. Yeah. Funny story. In order to do Miss Rothschild, I actually have to pretend I'm holding a cigarette in my hand because otherwise I can't do it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah. Master Thief Esquire cheered 100 Schlim Schlams and asked, after centuries of war, can the GTU ever know peace? Uh, I don't know. Let's say no. Yeah, probably not. This is humanity. That Actually, we're about. I do have one funny idea. And it's going to test your improv skills, so be warned. Ooh. Let's do, uh, let's, let's catch up with everyone who's been featured in the commercial so far. So, okay. uh, whoever the hell it was that had those preaky plushies, how, how's that going for you? I love my preaky plushies. Ugh. My favorite is the orange one. <laughs> I don't like that voice. That's freaking me out. <laughs> uh, okay, what about um, that cop who was hunting down the Mist Man and he leads on the case? He's managed to slip through our fingers once more. Damn it. Like a wet sponge. <laughs> <laughs> like a bar of soap in a shower. Uh, Ken, how are, how are Planet Cracker sales? I don't even know what you did for that one. Do you remember? I don't even remember that one either. Like, I know that we did it, yeah. but I don't remember the voice. The Planet Crackers are good. There, I did it. Yeah. Yay! Um, Nathan B1313 asks, will multiplayer game be season two? Nope. Um, the multiplayer game is just going to be, we're going to just stream it. It's just going to be a good time. We're not going to make it into a season two. That's just too much to worry about. Yeah. All Although technically Stellaris season or Invicta season two will be multiplayer, if only so you can observe the game while I'm while I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, I would love to be able to see what's happening live, because this being you know this lag thing or this latency thing rather is yeah, a bit much. I would not be against doing like a multiplayer game with the, with the two of us in a Stellaris, but it would take some like work to figure out how that would function. You know? Uh, yeah. Because if it, there's like it would, we would need some trial run. Yeah, and I feel like we couldn't do commentary at the same time, right? You'd have to have your own separate stream, and that might not be too much fun, so... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to figure out something. Although there are other games we could mm. potentially do Invicta with, right? Yeah. Like, like Kaiser Reich. Uh, Heart Kaiser Reich, I think, is a is a great candidate for another Invicta. It totally would. Kaiser Reich Invicta. But I know you're not a huge fan of that game, so I don't know if we want to... Yeah. I don't, Maybe I'm not a huge fan of that game because I don't understand the mechanics. Possibly, although it is a giant pain in the ass. That game is a nightmare. <laughs> Ugh. Um, Dossif says, I'm just curious, What's what was the second place nation vote for this Stellaris Invicta? I have no idea. I think it was, I think it was the UFN. Oh, yeah, that does sound right. I'm going to go check because I think I can find it pretty quickly. Okay. Also, we're cleaning up the Ladians. I haven't even been commentating because it's not even a contest. It's just we send in the fleets and then they die. <laughs> And I might as well, I'm also going to go after the, um, the Jazz Gabaz, because fuck those guys. Um, and yeah, for, I'm seeing some chat, uh, the multiplayer game will be over multiple sessions. I think the idea is one or two, no, is it one a week, Larry? Multiplayer sessions? Uh... I think we were going to do one a month, okay, actually. Okay, one a month. Um, one a month streamed at our regular um, uh, Grand Strategy Saturday time. So, And I think we're going to do a maximum of three or four sessions. So it's going to be a, a sh smaller galaxy um, on faster speed with a sooner end game crisis. Because we want to you know, stream other games on Grand Strategy Saturdays other than Stellaris. Which begs the question... What is the next game we're gonna do? Like, what's what are we doing next week? Ooh, I kind of feel like we should do Civ Six, but I don't. Well, we did Civ Six. I've been pushing for Total War too. 
Empire Warhammer, Total War, Total War 2, Total War Warhammer. So. Eh. Um, yeah, I was right. It was the UFN that got second place. Nice. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're doing later. I think we've earned a break from thinking about things. Yes. Oh, boy. Now I'm trying to figure out where I was in the question line. Oh, boy. Oh, did we go through all the advertisements? Did we miss any? Uh, I don't know. Um. Ah. Uh. Oh, the Preaky Habitats. Uh, how, how's that going? Are they still trying to kill you? <laughs> They're just so adorable. Like, you know, I managed to fix that habitat. I put some duct tape on it, and you know, I think they're trying to, like, harvest the adhesive for something. Hmm. Well, I mean, you gotta keep it out. Also, I wanna... In canon, uh, what's-her-face, that girl eventually is destroyed by the pre-key. <laughs> oh, shit, we might lose the fleet here. Oops. Ah, uh, all of the earlier questions timed out. We took too long. I lost a whole bunch of questions. I'm sorry, folks. If I haven't answered your questions yet, please re-ask. Yes. Uh, Bullwick asks, how did Paradox contact you guys? Yeah, the uh, the community manager reached out to us because he was like, yeah, I really like what you guys are doing with Solaris Invicta. I want that, but for the dev clash. And they were like, okay. So that's basically how that went down. You're, you're, you're skipping over all my freakouts. Well, I mean, I'm trying to, <laughs> play, to play us cool, cool you <laughs> yeah. know? Like, I'm trying to make it sound like it wasn't a big deal. Like, we're super professional and this happens all the time. But, dude, we freaked out. Yeah, I remember they uh, they contacted us on Twitter and they're like, hey, are you guys available for like a meeting sometime? And I literally was like, are we in trouble? Because <laughs> oh. apparently I have the, you know, manners of a six-year-old. Yeah. Mandarin at 5387 says, would the GTU crush the remaining nations? Um, they, they could, but whether or not they should... That's a question for the epilogue, I think. Yep. Because I think we're going to uh, answer what, what the final fate of the GTU is. Yeah. But that'll be for another day. Yep. Harley Quinn Red Sky says, You said the GTU lost a lot of pre-GTU movies. Did the room survive? What is the fate of the vampire Tommy Wiseau? <laughs> <laughs> He's still kicking. He is. Have you, um, have you read the, uh, the book? Um, what, what was it called? The Disaster Artist? The one the movie's based on? I didn't read the book, no, but I did watch the movie. Yeah, the movie actually kind of butchered one of my favorite parts, because, like, uh, <laughs> like, there's this whole section where, where Tommy was always, like, describing the plot of the room, and then at the end, he's just like, and maybe he's a vampire with a flying car, and just the way it was written, I found was so funny, and then in the movie, it's like, eh, it didn't quite... <laughs> didn't quite capture that, mag yeah. that magic. Yeah. Uh, Occult Autumn asks in the next season of Stellaris Invicta can more of us have titles like a specs minister of peace I guess it depends on the the nation yeah I mean I have some ideas of, of some stuff I want to do uh integrating chat more into the the thing the idea if the like it's going to depend on who wins but if the United Federation of Nations exists for example I want to create political parties and have people in chat be able to join a party and then you'd vote along like party lines or something um, yeah, and there's yeah. there's a, a function in Twitch where you can set up different rooms, yeah, like ch different chat rooms, so different parties could have different chat rooms. And I'd really love to have that in, in Discord too, where we could have a, yeah. <coughs> a, a a room for each party, and you could plan out like what your agenda is, and then submit it, and then make coalitions yeah. if you want to. I don't know, it could be neat. Yeah, it could be really really awesome, or it could be a total disaster. But I'd I'd really want to try it. Or both. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how many months have we played this game? Uh, real life or in game? I think real life. Uh, we started in June, I think. Yes. I could go back and check. Yeah, you could. Uh, Johnny El Rojo uh, is asking about the fan content. That is, I mean, it, the fan content is a mixed bag. Um, because on the one hand, like. A lot of people have added stuff to the GTU that I don't consider to be canon or stuff I wouldn't want the GTU. But even so, like, it's so incredibly awesome that people are, you know, making stuff um, for this series. Like, that took me by surprise. I never thought we'd get, you know, fan art and and uh, these short stories and stuff people are doing. So that's, like, that's awesome. 
and I think that's like just part of the, the process, right? Like you gotta at some point, like the GTU isn't ours, right? It's everybody's who participated in it, and they can interpret it however they want. So. Yeah, we we did the the first Stellaris Invicta stream went up probably on June twenty third. June twenty third, yeah. God, that's so almost a whole year. <laughs> uh, oh, Knight thirty one fifty is it wanting to know um, if the ads are going to show up on YouTube? Yes. Um, yes. We got secret plans for those ads, um, but the hope is we'll put them up on the archive channel in the next couple of months. Yeah. Razul asks, can we recommend mods for Season 2? Yes. Ooh. I think we're going to break up more mods for Season 2. But I, we got to be careful, because I don't want to get anything that's going to break the game halfway through. You know? Yeah. Especially considering that it took, like, what? Nine months to get this done? We want yeah. something stable. Oh, that's why no uh, mods this time around, except for the aesthetic ones. Yeah. Sabersonic asks, will the GTU ever build that ring world in the core systems? Oh. Did we say we are going to mm -hmm. do that? I don't remember saying in the core system. Remember there was a vote at some point to do it in the core or do it in the... the um, yeah, Alawana. but we, we voted to do it in a cluster. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe, when will, I guess. When will voting for the factions of Season 2 begin? We haven't nailed that down yet. It is a mystery. Yeah. We, we will be making a big announcement. There will be an announcement video when it's ready oh yes um, there will be uh, we got big plans hype. yes hype 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 it's gonna be good actually i'm really excited <laughs> like, i'm more excited for like <laughs> teasing the second season than actually starting it because um back when i worked on mods i always loved just teasing shit but of course with our audience nobody actually cared because we didn't have much of one so now that we actually have a, a, a base of people who like this stuff that'll be very fun Ooh yeah i think uh the video that where we announced season two is going to be a, a fun one to to watch live on YouTube premieres, yeah. which everyone loves. Yeah, everyone loves YouTube premieres. Don't at me. <laughs> um, would we make new possible nations for season two or use the UFN slash revote with other nations? Mix uh, of both. both. Yeah. We're, we're bringing back the old ones and we're bringing in some new ones. Yeah. Um, and Maybe I... we should do like a, a round robin type of deal. Oh god, even make it more complex? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking we should do it like pilot week, where um, each, each oh, day we release like a mini-video, and then voting starts on the last day or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty pleased with how that worked out. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, right, the Jazz Gavaz are... Oh, wait, we, we took some territory back to the Florians. That's a reversal of Ooh. fortune. <laughs> we did it for them? I oh, guess so. Oh, we are so. benevolent gods. Yeah, we've really uh, <laughs> mellowed out in our advanced age. Yep. The Only Real Savage asks, what does the galaxy map look like now compared to how it started? Maybe we should do like a before and after galaxy. Actually, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be the craziest idea. So here's what it looks like yeah. right now. I pretty mean, messy. the north of the, the galaxy is uh, pretty secure. Um, yeah. The pucks and the rue have been kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's just the south that's super gross. Yeah, the Unbidden and the War in Heaven really did a number on them. <laughs> yeah. Um. How is the GTU with alien relations? I think we're not xenophobe anymore, but we're still generally distrustful of anyone that we've been at war with. Yeah. But races like the Wasari, who have been incredibly helpful and supportive of the union for a really really long time are i think the the racism is pretty minimal it's it's going to be there on like you know the ground level and even the palladiums and the fraxines i think people have mellowed out a bit because um mm -hmm. we made a point to mention in some of the recap videos that like the war is against the uh the other um alien races in the galaxy united the gtu's various species and i think the war against the 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 fallen empires and the uh the unbidden is going to help that out even more although everyone really hates the ladians yes because they betrayed the galaxy and yeah. those are the guys who also joined uh the south bell yeah the south bell and the ladians are, are are in nobody's good books but right now i think 
the GTU post Unbidden has probably been the most xenophilic it will ever get. Yes. Or at least for as long as it remains named the Greater Terran Union. Xeno tolerant, I'd say. Yeah, Xeno tolerant. That's a good way of putting yeah. it. All right. So I actually just did a save there. Um, so that's Ooh. the end. I'm going to do one more thing, though, if I can just. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to skim through. I, I don't think we're going to be able to answer all these questions in the order that they show up, so I'm going to be a little more selective. Prometheon2077 asks, could an Invicta-style thing for other Paradox games like Crusader Kings 2 or U Europa Universalis work? Ooh. Um, uh, I don't. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not super familiar with CK well, that's, or EU. That's uh, historical stuff. Um, but I, I don't think there'd be enough art or... Uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know where, where to get the footage. Uh, I'm also loading up an old save so we can just see how things have changed. Ooh. So we're just gonna look at a loading screen. And thanks yeah, to uh, Zax T4 and the good or the guy Gooders for subscribing with Twitch Prime. If you have a Twitch Prime, yeah. you get a free sub every month. So sub, sub to us. What else are you gonna do? Eh. Um, since we can submit mods, asks Razul, how do we do that? Um, we will figure that out in the future. Uh, Discord, just yell us up. Yeah, there, I, I guess. guess. Yeah, just mention it in Stellaris Invicta chat. We will probably read it. What's uh, what's gonna happen with the Discord channel? Are we gonna shut it down, or is we gonna keep it going? I think we we should keep it open for a while. Let people okay. let people enjoy it, and then yeah. once it kind of dies down, we'll just like quietly close. All right. So do you remember this galaxy? Aw, it's so cute. We got uh, the GTU with some monsters in it that we haven't slain yet. We got the Bull Hive, and we even got part of the Allegan Republic still alive. Our Hated foes and the Phyraxians and the Rixians. <laughs> uh, the Tyrum consciousness is still on the march. So this was only 200 years ago. How things change. And the Pucks weren't really oh. the force they were. What happened to the Tenga? Did they get wiped out? I think they did. I never really heard from them. Um, yeah. well, let's go back even one further here. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of calls for uh, when the raffle winner is going to be declared, which is right now. Yeah, let's do it. Congratulations to Alex Font G. You Alex have Font won G. the raffle. Um, speak up in chat, and then I will send you a whisper asking for your uh, your sh your shipping address so that I can send you some stuff. And uh, here's uh, going back even further. This would have been twenty two forty seven. My God, look how young we are. Yeah, so cute with the goddamn algans. We never declared war on the Sofox Garden of Worlds. I hate them so much, and we never did it. <laughs> I think they might get mentioned in the epilogue. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, let's go back one more. One more to the very beginning. Um, Alex Font G, uh, make sure that your um, Twitch settings allow whispers so that I can send you a message. I think your privacy settings are a little too tight right now. All right, here we are. The uh, here's the galaxy at the start. <laughs> Actually, it's too. Um, oh. This is what the galaxy. Oh, the Tyrum were an advanced start. That was lucky. Yeah, look um, at that. So were the Holy Renokins and the. Who the Holy Renokins was that a? User submitted empire? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that was the, the dragon folks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they so was the Vol holy Rogatherians. I see. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, that's uh. Wow, the soapbox are pretty close to us. That was that's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Really close. All right, but uh, now that we've taken this trip back in time, I think it's time to call it. What do you reckon? Uh, give me a second to finish this, uh, <laughs> this all here. Oh, sure. Wait, what are we talking about? The, uh... The, 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 the giveaway. Oh, okay. 
Um, well, actually, you know, well, well, I got a couple minutes here. Uh, I just want to actually truly thank everybody who's been watching on streams and, and watching our recap videos and watching the streams in the archives. Uh, like, obviously, most of the videos we do are about pre-established properties, you know, your Star Wars, your Halo and stuff, and um, it, it's always cool to see the reaction to those. But uh, seeing the comments on uh, on the Greater Terran Union videos is, like, my favorite thing because um, it's the only series that we've, like, done from scratch. It's, like, our own story. Uh so the response to, to Stellaris Invicta has been, like, really, really cool. Um, and there's been plenty of times, actually, where it's, like, a late night of editing. Uh, and it feels kind of shitty. <laughs> and I'm tired. And I'll just go back to some of our old recap videos and I'll read all the comments. Because that always makes me feel really great. So, uh, yeah, thanks to everyone who's been a part of this. It's been, like we said, better than we ever thought possible. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been an incredibly um, humbling experience. I mentioned that before, but I, I can't say it enough, like, to to really see the support and the the, the excitement that you guys all have, it's, uh, it's truly incredible. Yeah. And it feels pretty special. Even when people are yelling at me for doing everything wrong, at least they care, you know, like that they've invested this much into it. Um, so it, it's always fun to see that stuff. So... Um, yeah, we'll be back next week, uh, but for the first time in a very long time, not doing Stellaris Invicta, uh, whether it's Total War, Warhammer, Total War, War 2, Warhammer, I don't know, or something else, uh, I'm sure we'll announce it somewhere. Uh, but of course, the streaming don't stop, we'll be back on maybe Monday for something, but we don't know yet, uh, but then Wednesday for XCOM, uh, where Larissa has been leading people to their deaths, right? Is that what you're doing? I mean, I would I'd, I'd more say that, like, I've been leaving the world to its doom. Yes. Yeah. Um, and if you, uh, if you want a character named after you, we'll have details in Discord, so check that out. Yeah, if you're yeah. only following Kronvicta, you're missing out, man, because some of our other streams are great, too. Some of them, not all of them. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then on Friday, we're doing more Ace Combat 7, which has been super awesome. Uh, yeah, you freaked out. I did. Um, I, I, I guess I won't spoil it. I think I already linked it somewhere, but yeah, uh, something happened and I choked out of joy <laughs> and I was, I was choking to death on stream. So that was fun. Um, yeah, but that's, uh, that's everything, but I think we should raid somebody before we peace out here. Yeah. Republic of Play is on. Well, what about Blondie? <gasps> Blondie's on? Blondie's on. Oh yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Blondie is, um, I, I, I don't know his he's official title. One of the develop he's on the development team for Stellaris. I, I don't know he's exactly like what. A community guy. Like he hosts their stream, so he's the guy hosting Dev Clash um a lot of the time, alongside Martin, who's the game director or former game director. Um So we're gonna raid the show to Blondie. Let's all say uh I don't know, victory to the GTU or something. What do you like? Uh Yeah. I think that worked. Or the GTU uh, Forever, that's always a good one. GTU Forever is just that's a that's a solid one. Yeah. Um, and we we know that he's watched some of our stuff, so he might actually get it. Yeah. Um, and if you're subscribed, use the 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 GTU emote. Yeah, let's flood that shit. If you're a subscriber, yeah. you gotta take part. Flood yeah, flood that shit. Yeah. Uh. So yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks, R uh, wait, R three V zero seven six suggests we say fuck it, let's do it because that was like. <laughs> the the, the I don't final know. quote before the unbed and I feel like that might just freak him out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's think with GTU forever or fuck it. Let's do it. I don't know. Fuck it. Say what you want. Fuck uh, it. So thanks for joining want. us. The final episode or stream of GTU Stellaris Invicta season one. We'll see you next time. And Larissa, you may fire when ready. Thank you and bye. <laughs>